Hello everybody. So I decided to make a video to help people put AdMob into their Cordova apps. I had a lot of trouble with it and played with quite a few plugins and uh, yeah this was the best one I found. It's called the Cordova plugin AdMob Simple. Actually it's come from the top of the list of the Cordova site for AdMob if you look there. I tried some of the other ones. This one and that one's not bad. This one is slow to show ads and it, uh, it sends stuff to their own servers which I didn't like so I stuck with this one. So uh, I'll make a simple app, I'll just copy their instructions here but of course you would change these values for your own app. So we've got a DOS, we're going to make in the root directory, you can make it wherever you want. So we paste that there, let Cordova do its magic. Okay, so now we want to CD into the uh, folder, oh, all right. and we need to add the platform. We're going to be using Android. You can also do iOS. So paste. That's uh, adding the Android code. After that finishes, we're going to add the plugin as well. So if you have NPM installed, you can use this one. And you can also get it from GitHub, but we'll use NPM. So copy that. So make sure everything looks okay, no errors, everything looks fine. Yep. So we paste that in to get the plugin. And it'll add it to the Android package. There we go, that's done. So we'd also like to open that now in Android Studio. You can also use Eclipse, but we we'll use Android Studio. There's instructions on this page on how to uh, do either one. Basically, Android Studio is straightforward, but Eclipse, you have to do a little extra work there, but it's not a big deal. So I already got... Eclipse started there, so let's refresh the directory structure. There's the um, folder there, and you want to go into, click on Android, click OK. It's going to configure the Gradle wrapper, click OK again. Right, so here we have our project. It's been imported nicely, so we're going to the Android folder. And then we go to assets. So we can go to the JavaScript file and we can add the magic code. Right, let's go back to this one. So there's two ways to do this. You can load the interstitial first and show it later, or you can show it as soon as it's loaded. I think we can just show it as soon as it's loaded. So the instructions say, Add the following JavaScript functions, put your own ad code, play with the variables, and call those that from on device ready. Alright, let's do that. So we'll get that. And we'll add it to here. Now it's said to put our ad mob code in there. We should put the Android part. I've saved that here already, but you've got to get it from your own AdMob account, of course. So there. Interstitial. Okay. Now, what else did it say to do? It said to Call it init add from on device ready. Alright, fine. So on device ready, well, that's the equivalent. On device ready calls this one. It's the equivalent of basically putting it there. Right. Now what's next? Add these two functions and call them when you want to show ads. Fine. Okay. Add them at the bottom. We'll add the show banner function. 
after initializing the add and we want to show an interstitial as well right so let's run it click on there uh, we can use the galaxy nexus system image okay and uh, just wait a bit and here it comes there's the banner Here's the interstitial. Shut that down. Now we did have is is testing set to false. So if you're running this on your personal phone, it would actually show real ads, but because it knows that this is an emulator, it shows test ads anyway. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. So once again, that's the Cordova plugin AdMob Simple. You can get it here, or you can go to the Cordova plugins and search for it, AdMob. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.